hey everyone and welcome to my channel so in this video i'll just be showing my feminine hygiene routine from the stuff that i do when i use the bathroom when i take a shower brush my teeth the whole nine okay so we're gonna start with the mouth first okay and the toothpaste i use is this crest 3d white For mouthwash, I just use this TheraBreath mouthwash. And I recommend this mouthwash because it doesn't burn your mouth when you use it. And you can get it from Walmart. It's like, I think I bought it for like $8. But yeah, every other um, mouthwash I use, it burns my mouth. This one doesn't, so I highly recommend this one. I use this. It's just a tongue scraper. Yeah. If y'all haven't invested in a tongue scraper, you need to. And then I just use any type of floss. I'm not even gonna lie though, I do not floss every day. I have to get better at flossing. But this is just a Walmart brand of floss. It was like 98 cents. So I usually start off by brushing my teeth and I go in with mouthwash and then I go in with flossing. I don't know if that's the correct order so comment down below what is. So then after I brush my teeth, um, I'll move on to um, wash my face. Sometimes I wash my face after the shower, sometimes I wash it before, sometimes I wash it in the shower if I'm doing something quick. But I usually wash my face with this Clinique. And I don't do too much to my face at all. Um, so I use that to wash my face. And after I wash my face, I will get in the shower. Sometimes, like I said, I'll get in the shower before I wash my face. But I think in this video, I wash my face first. So next, I'm going to move on to what I do in the shower. The first thing I do when I'm in the shower is I exfoliate. I really like this Tree Hut Moroccan Rose Sugar Scrub. Um, I just use it on my whole body. I exfoliate probably three times a week. I don't overdo it because I really do have sensitive skin and you don't want to exfoliate too much, okay? After I exfoliate, I'll just take, I like this um, shaving cream. I'll just take this shaving cream. This is a really creamy shaving cream and it's for sensitive skin. Um, I'll just take this on my legs and I'll shave my underarms and I'll just shave. Lately I've been using these razors and um, I believe it has three blades. Yeah, it has three blades. You want to use something with three to five blades. Five blades is better. It gives you a cleaner, um, three to five gives you a cleaner shave. If you're using anything other than that, girl, you're going to tear your skin up, okay? So use something three to five. I'll, or you can use a men's razor. After I shave, I'll bathe. And usually 
I bathe my private areas first okay so i recently started using honey pot i use the sensitive honey pot and i just wash on my hands um move on to my body i just get a pack of loafers i got them from amazon but you can also get them from walmart this is a pack of four so i'm on my last one loofahs i feel like loofahs they just get you really clean and soapy so with loafers you just feel a little bit cleaner or you can get the um I think it's called an African knit. You can get that from Amazon. On the loaf, I'll either take my my native body wash and I usually get that scent in vanilla coconut. I really love the vanilla coconut smell. You cannot go wrong with that. Or I'll use my method body body wash and I I think it's the rose. I know the full name but it's the pink one is rose so i usually either take one of those and i wash my body a minimum of three times okay just to ensure that you're really clean after i bathe take my olay okay my olay body conditioner and it has shea butter in it so all you do is after you uh bathe you wash your body you take some of this put it in your hand and you put it all over your body and it will leave you feeling so soft. After I got the shower, I just started doing this in this video actually. Um, taking witch hazel. Excuse the noise in the background, y'all. My baby just came home. I will use this witch hazel, and you just, I got it in um, living grass. You can either get the pads or you can use, you can get it in a regular bottle and just put it on a cotton round. But, these are already on cotton round, so I don't feel the need to do extra. So you just wipe it in your butt and um, it will leave you feeling fresh all day, okay? After I do that, I just put on some lotion. I usually use my cocoa butter lotion and then I'll go in with my cocoa butter body gel. So I use that, just lock in the moisture with the uh, gel or any type of oil. That is it for um, the shower or in after the shower when I go to the bathroom. So when you go to the bathroom, I recommend using wipes instead of just tissue. And then I also started using this. It's um, to go for like when you're out or when you want to just freshen up. You don't have any wipes. Like it's from a sweet spot. You just put a little bit on some tissue, like you see here. Put a little bit on some tissue and just wipe yourself and you feel fresh. In this clip, you will see me um, putting some cranberry juice, the real cranberry juice, no additive, none of that. Cranberry juice in a cup mixed with some coconut water. Coconut water is very gross to me. I guess I just have to find the correct brand that I like. So you mix both with some ice and you drink it. Okay, so. Now that all of that is over with, a few tips. I recommend cotton underwear, okay? I also recommend drinking a lot of water. Drink at least a gallon a day, and I have to get better with that. I'm recommending it, but I don't even do it, okay? But I'm working on it. Okay, and I also recommend taking your probiotic. Another tip I recommend is to wipe front to back, meaning here's your vagina, here's your butt, wipe this way, do not wipe that way you're putting all that nastiness up into your vagina and you're gonna get an infection okay so that's it for this video thank you for watching stay tuned for more make sure you like and comment and subscribe